time that I spent in the gym and I had absolute control over what was going on there. Those were the best freaking times of my life. If I could totally change my skinny little body and I did all that myself, then I bet I can change my life in other ways. I enjoy being a physical animal, a physical beast. These times in your life where you're engaging yourself explosively through physical, through your training and the pushing of heavy shit. And pushing yourself to the max. You will use that to inspire you throughout your life. Not only are you a physical beast, a physical animal, you are a rational animal. What you do with your training starts someplace other than your body. Where? Where does it start? In mind. Bodybuilding is about muscle. It's about beef that separate the men from the bars. A man among men, he is huge and was tough to touch during the most muscular, one of the biggest guys you'll ever see, so feast your eyes. Get a clear picture in your mind of what you want to achieve. Never accept the limitations of someone else. Somebody told you that it's impossible. Don't even try! Give up! Before you even try it for yourself. Never accept limitation that someone else has placed upon you. The judges actually told him he wasn't big enough. You've always come into the competition in great shape, always. And I think now, your size and your shape and everything that you bring to the table will be recognized. I hope that. I definitely, I definitely think so, that your time is coming, man. Now I have done all the things, my focus was only on bodybuilding for the last 11 months. I improved myself, I'm back, I'm the best package ever, I'm bigger than ever. Instead of finding an easy way to do hard things, learn and develop a love for hard things. That you only want hard things, that you only want things in your life. Greater challenges. <laughs>
Food's better. Chicken, steak, rice, potatoes, oatmeal. There's no secrets. Hard work. There is no easy way. Starting not tomorrow, not Monday, not next month, starting right this minute, I'm going to start doing what it takes. For the rest of the day, I'm going to eat every two and a half to three hours solid food. And I bet if I was to visit any one of you guys in a gym during your workouts, none of you would be half assing it. We get under the weights at the gym, we do the training that we do, and I don't know about you, but I don't I never climbed under a weight or did an exercise or train thinking, oh this thing I can, I know I'm not gonna be able to do it, it's gonna crush me. I never climbed under a weight thinking that. I climbed under that weight thinking I was a goddamn gorilla and I could do anything I could set my mind to. The density. Wide, thick, big. It's hard to pick this guy apart. He's, he's basically the freakiest bodybuilder in the show and it's just a question of whether or not the judges like the freaky size and mass. But to live strong, wide, there are things that you have to get straight and right in your mind to be able to do that, to be able to evolve, to be able to step up to the next level of your life. and inspiring to be in the presence of so much testosterone and hardcore athletes that like to kill it physically, mentally, and spiritually. strong life.